Alrighty, kindergartners. So today is X is for xylophone. And hopefully you guys watched the two videos so you have a better idea of what a xylophone is. It's a really cool musical instrument um, that they use in percussion to um, make music. So it's kind of like a piano. It has keys, um, right? And you hit the keys with a mallet. Um, which is kind of fun. So today we are doing X's for xylophone and we're going to be turning the letter X into a xylophone. Now if you don't have um, your art books with you, that's totally fine. You can just draw an X or um, you can just do two straight lines too and that will work just fine. Um, but we're just doing the X into a xylophone. So if you have this one or if you don't, um, I start with black. You don't have to color yours black if you don't want. Um, you can use any other color that you would like. But I'm just doing black because it's a nice neutral color and the keys of my xylophone are going to be rainbow colored. Um, so that way this makes a nice neutral background for my rainbow colored xylophone. So I'm going to quickly color this. And then we'll get started on our keys. So the supplies that you're going to need today are just one color crayon marker color pencil to do this part of the xylophone. Then if you have some scrap paper around, um, I'm going to be digging into my scrap paper bin again to be making the keys of my xylophone. Now if you don't have scrap paper, construction paper, or whatever at home, um, use what you have. You can cut pictures out of magazines or you can just draw a xylophone if you need to. Um, just do the best you can with what you have at home. I completely understand. I know um, you don't always have what I have here and that's completely understandable. Okay, so, and then of course, scissors and glue. So next what we're gonna do is we wanna make the keys. And as you probably remember in the video, um, the longer keys have a lower sound and the smaller keys, the shorter keys, have a higher sound. So we want to make sure that we have long ones. Um, so we wanna make our first one long and then get shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter as we get to the bottom of the xylophone. Just like you remember watching on Curious George, right? When he put um, that girl's xylophone back together, he had to put them in order, right? From longest to shortest. Because if we made our keys all the same length, they would all have the same sound and then you wouldn't be able to play music because um, different notes have different sounds, right? So you need all those different sounds to be able to make your music. Now I think that one might be a little too long, so I'm going to give it a little trim and we're going to start. And I'm not going to glue them down yet because I want to make sure that I have them all correct before I glue them just in case I need to make some a little longer. Um, or some a little shorter. So then I've got orange. I'm gonna make that a little shorter than red. It's got red, orange, and I'm doing rainbow order because it's fun. So that's what I wanna do. All right, so I gotta make this one a little shorter. Now notice I'm not making a lot shorter because I still have a lot of colors that I want to use. And if I make it too short too fast, I'm gonna run out of um, length here, right? So this one's shorter than orange, red, it, or orange is shorter than red, so we're doing good here. Now I've got the next color of the rainbow is green. Cut the next one out of green. Gotta check the length. Rrr, made it a little too short. I'll try again. Even art teachers make mistakes. All right, so I want it to be a little bit shorter than yellow. So there's my green. I just need to fit two more colors on here. And you may have had um, something like a xylophone when you were a kid. Um, I know like my mom has some at, the, at her house for the grandkids that um, they like to play that has the metal keys and they like to hit it with a mallet. My son likes to hit it with a mallet. Um, so they have kid versions, they have adult versions. They're pretty fun instruments. All right, there we go. 
Now all I'm gonna have to do is glue that together. So glue it down. And then on Google, Google Docs, I drew a mallet. So I just drew a circle with a long rectangle. You don't have to draw one on Google Docs and print it off. I just did um, because it's fun. Um, but now I'm going to color this and then I'm going to cut it out and glue it down. If you don't have that option, that's totally fine. You can go ahead and just draw a mallet on here. Um, because a xylophone is kind of useless without a mallet, right? You need a mallet to be able to hit the different keys to make the different sounds to make your music. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that in a little bit and you guys can go ahead and gather up your supplies and get to work. Don't forget to take a picture, send it to me, let me know what you thought, um, and enjoy making your xylophones. What a cool new word to learn today. Alrighty guys, I'll talk to you guys next week. And guess what? We only have two more letters and then we have done the entire alphabet this year. How cool is that? Then our ABC books are going to be complete. So fun. Alrighty guys, come back next week for our almost last letter.